Okay, now let's find our confidence interval for the square feet. So, formulas, more, statistical, confidence dot T. Okay, now it said 95% confidence interval. That means we're using 5% for alpha. So 0 0.05. The standard deviation, you can just select it from here or just type it in. The sample size is 500. Enter. Okay, now that is the margin of error. Okay, so for the lower bound, we take the sample mean, sample mean, we subtract the margin of error, okay? Sample mean minus margin of error. The upper bound, okay? What we're finding is a range of values, okay? The average is 2026, 20, but 95% of the values will fall between the lower and the upper bound, okay? This is like saying, I think it'll cost me between 50 and 60. It's an interval. It's a range. So upper bound equals the mean plus the margin of error. Okay, so we are 95% confident that the square feet are between 1997 and 2055. Okay. Now, let's correlate that to the hypothesis test. Okay, I'm going to round that to 1998 just when I write it up. And 2056. Uh, let's do 55.6. Okay, so let's go back to our Word document. Okay, so for mine, we rejected, okay, for my example, we rejected. There was enough evidence to support the claim that the mean list price for the East South Central region is not 1944, okay. My 95% confidence interval is between 1998 and 2055.6. Okay, you'll want to write that up in a nice full sentence. I just don't want to waste time doing that. Okay, notice that 1944 from our hypothesis test, hypothesis test is not in that interval. Okay, so that is another way to support the claim that 1944 is not the mean. Okay, we're 95% confident that it's between 1998 and 2055. Okay. So 1944 is not in that interval, so it's most likely 1944 is not the mean, okay? Now, if yours is this, if you get fail to reject, it is most likely that 1944 is in your confidence interval range, which supports supports that the mean does equal 1944. Okay, summarize your findings. Summarize both tests. Whether or not you were surprised by the findings, you can um, try to find some real world knowledge from that area okay i chose east south central just because that's where i live 
and you can use some real world knowledge for those. Be sure to use your template. And that's the second part of the video, okay? The first part of the video is a separate link.